Coachella season is almost here and I wanted to create a video of my top seven tips. If you're attending Coachella on the festival grounds, let's get into it. What's up, you guys? My name's Jess. My channel is Living by the F Word. I talk about F words I'm passionate about, and festivals is one of them. If you need any tips on how to camp proper, what food to bring while camping at a festival, festival essentials, festival harm reduction, I have all those videos out on my channel, and I will link them below or throughout this video. So if you need something specific under those topics, you can catch it there. For now, let's dive into my top seven tips for Coachella at the festival polo grounds. Tip number one is you need to know the biking and walking paths. So this is really important whether you are camping on site or even if you're staying off site at a partner hotel, an Airbnb, somewhere that is not on the festival grounds. There are four paths that are at Coachella. There's a red path, a yellow path, a green path, and a blue path, and they are all coordinated with a different animal. It's really important that you know where your campsite is and what path you take from your campsite into the festival grounds. It's also important to know if you're staying off site because there's certain areas where the partner hotels have their shuttles for you. Same thing with Uber or rideshare, or maybe you're getting your own party bus with your friends. That's gonna be a different drop off than where rideshare is. So it's so important to look at the festival map when it comes out, make sure you screenshot it in case you don't have service, you'll have it on your phone and just know where you need to go when you're coming and leaving the festival. Tip number two is the wind and dust prep. So it doesn't matter if you are camping or if you're just attending offsite, this applies. You need to bring a bandana to cover your face. It is on the polo ground, but you are in the desert. So you do have wind, you do have some dust blowing around, and it's really important that you cover your face and you're not breathing this all in. I'm an avid festival goer, and so I am constantly at festivals and I know that you will like blow your nose and a ton of dirt will come out. So definitely bring a bandana. If you are camping, it's so important that you lower your shade structure. So if you have a portable shade structure, like an easy up canopy for shade, once you go, once you're ready to go into the festival grounds, make sure you take that down to the lowest setting. That's going to really keep your campsite safe. It won't allow the wind to get underneath it, take it away, crash into your car or you know, destroy other people's stuff. So definitely do that. Tip number three is understand your stages. So there's an upwards of about 10 stages at Coachella, I would say. There's probably seven main areas. You do have the Coachella stage, which is the main stage. It's outdoors. It's massive. That's where all your headlining acts are going to be. The second stage that's kind of adjacent or next to that is the outdoor stage. It still is outdoors. It's another outdoor larger stage, but it is a little bit smaller than the Coachella stage. And you're going to have a lot of variety at that stage as well. The other four stages are all named after different deserts around the world, which I like really love that about Coachella. They really hone in on that desert inspiration since they are also in the desert. So you have the Gobi stage and you also have the Mojave stage. Those are kind of like smaller tents and you're gonna have a variety of different acts there all different genres from indie to electronic then you have the sahara tent which is probably the largest structured tent it's absolutely massive and you're gonna have huge dance music acts there typically you're gonna see people like john summit there fat boy slim those larger dance music more like larger scale house artists then you have the yuma tent which is like something so unique I feel like to Coachella because it's a massive indoor club it could be 2 p.m and you will go in there and you will not even realize how sunny it is outside it's a literal club and it's so cool and you're gonna have a lot of the underground DJs there a lot of like the house the tech house techno which honestly it's such a massive scene now so just make sure you get there early because I'm sure compared to when I've gone in the past it's much like harder to get into that tent. You also have one of my favorite places, which usually has a separate lineup. So you have your main lineup and then you're gonna have other stage areas that have separate lineups. One of my favorite places is the Doolab. The Doolab is a company that basically builds stages that they act as art, 
They also act as shade structure and they act as a really fun, whimsical area to hang out at. And they are responsible for the festival Lightning in a Bottle, which is also in California. They also have done festivals like Woogie Weekend. And for the longest time, they have hosted a stage at Coachella. And this is just a really eclectic lineup. You will have a lot of DJs there. Um, You're going to have like them spraying water at you. They have aerial performers, fire performers. So if you're into festivals like Lightning in a Bottle, Desert Hearts, Elements Festival, like that's what the Do Lab reminds me of. So you really have to check it out. There's also stages like the Heineken stage that has like pop up surprise guests. I already saw that they posted the lineups for both weekend one and weekend two this year. And you have really big acts like Method Man. And um, you also have Walker and Royce. You have people like Honey Love. You also have, I think, Kyle Walker is on there. There's a lot of different talent that you should go check out and it's in like a shaded kind of area dome. If I I think I haven't been to Coachella in a while. So but you you have all these other options as far as like smaller stages. And the reason why I'm bringing up that you need to know these stages is just because you need to account for when you're going to go see what type of artists and make sure you actually visit all these different areas because they all bring something unique to the festival. Going off of that, tip number four is planning. So you need to plan kind of when you're going to see certain people. You have to plan for the walking and you have to plan for high times where there's going to be like a lot of different crowds leaving different areas and there's going to be a lot of congestion. So definitely plan ahead. You also have to plan because Coachella is a 21 and up event. And if you're over 21, their beer gardens are separate. This was something that was like a shock to me when I first started going to Coachella and it was like, whoa, okay, I actually have to enter a separate area and you can't leave that area with your drink. So if you are a drinker or you want to, you know, have like a refreshment drink, you need to plan for that and go to those areas when maybe there's someone you're not so interested in seeing. Um, They do have some of these beer gardens and alcohol tent areas next to the Coachella stage where you could still see the acts. They do have them in other areas, but it's far back. It's not like you're right next to the stage if you get what I'm saying like and that's how it is at other festivals you could either carry your alcohol around or you can be right next to it so just definitely plan ahead you have to plan tip number five is participate in the large-scale art the large-scale interactive art is incredible at Coachella I feel like Coachella you know, they kind of like set the bar for festivals in with incorporating art into their festival. It's a festival that's been around for a very long time. They've always been well known for having elaborate, large scale art that you can either be a part of by walking around, by participating, making a, a space for the attendees to create their own art with photography and so that's why it's such a huge influencer festival because you have like the iconic ferris wheel which isn't even the art i'm talking about but in years past they've had the giant astronaut they've had the caterpillar that turns into the butterfly they've had the i think it was like boxes and you could put like horse heads on and like actually like be inside and then there's the like attendees that are looking outside at you so like there's a lot of interactive art there which I think is so important. And it's not like just something you want to walk by, you want to participate in it. One last thing with the art that I forgot to mention is the branding on all of Coachella's, their boxes, their flyers, you always see those balloons. And then like when they were announcing the lineup, they had like the whole post with the balloons going through different cities and I think a lot of people don't realize that that is also a part of the interactive art and that there's usually somewhere where you can hold those so if you find the end of where they're at you can hold them and get a picture with them with the balloons like right behind you and I don't think a lot of people realize that they're floating all over the polo grounds and they're really cool so yeah definitely get involved with the art at Coachella. Tip number six is explore the shaded areas during the day. So I already went on a full-blown tangent on the Do Lab. So if you skipped over that part, 
rewind and go back to the stages tips, but Doolab is incredible. They make structures that act as shade. It's a really great place to cool down, hang out, get soaked with some spray misters. There's also the Yuma tent, which is fully indoors. And then you have the smaller stages, like I said, but there's also other hidden areas I feel like that you can find shade. And you're definitely going to want to do that because Coachella is so hot during the day. It is very hot. It could be over 100 degrees. So definitely make sure you're bringing your hand fans with you. Bring maybe like a little Mr. Bottle, something, and go hang out in shaded areas during the day. And tip number seven is know your rights. So what I mean by this is, I'll just be straight up with you. There's undercovers all over this bitch, you guys. And I am not trying to scare anyone, but... It's festival culture, and there's a lot of people that like to partake in substance use that is not legal. Just know your rights. Make sure you know your rights. There is a chart that the festival lawyer put out. It's a full infograph chart that says what happens if you're stopped, what you should say, should you record it, how you should act. But you should basically know that if you're stopped by someone and you ask them if you're free to leave, if they say no, you ask if they're be if you're being detained. If you're being detained, basically you say, okay, officer, I'm going to record this. It's my right to record this. Be respectful and make sure that you don't say shit. You shut your mouth and you say you want a lawyer present and you don't consent. You don't let them search you. You consent to no search. I mean, I'm not a lawyer. This isn't legal advice. I'm just like being real that out of all the festivals I've been to worldwide, I feel like the presence of undercovers at Coachella is massive. They just know that this is a global festival. There's people coming from all over the United States. There's This is a worldwide global festival. People come from Australia. People come from Europe. Like This is an iconic festival. And so there's a lot of people that don't know their rights. And so that is my last tip. I do have a bonus tip for you as well, and that is to go check out my boy, Angel Chavez. His entire channel is dedicated to Coachella. He's been attending Coachella, I think, for 13 years now, which is insane. Um, he has so many great tips on his channel. He also has his podcast where he talks to a lot of local artists. And he did start a project called Desert Underground, which is so cool. It highlights artists from Coachella Valley. And yeah, he's really doing big things over there. So go check his channel out if you need any additional tips. I hope to see you at Coachella one day. Uh, there's a chance I might go this year, but right now it's like 50-50. I really don't know. But if you see me, make sure you say hello. Um, I've been to three Coachellas. It's an iconic festival, and I hope you have the best time there. See you in the next video. Don't forget to share this with all your friends that are going to Coachella. Like it, share it up, and please subscribe and hit the bell if you want more festival tips. See you in the next one, guys.